Reconstructing the Past Literary Sources In this module, you will learn about the various literary and documentary sources used in reconstructing human history during ancient India. It was Confucius who declared, Study the past if you would divine the future. Our past is our heritage and by studying the past we attain a fair view of the present and perhaps even better understand the future. In order to study the past, our history as we call it, historians rely on a number of sources which provide information to help them reconstruct the human past. These sources are broadly classified as literary sources and archaeological sources. In this module, we look at the literary sources in detail. At the very beginning, expressing thoughts involved use of pictures of objects or pictograms to convey the meaning about the expressed thoughts. For example, the sun would be shown as the picture of the sun or to explain a grain, a picture of grain would be shown. The pictorial representation evolved into unique characters by the Bronze Age. One of the earliest known forms of writing is the cuneiform script. It developed in Mesopotamia from 3200 to 2800 BC. The cuneiform writing system passed through several stages of evolution. Cuneiform writing was often impressed with a pointed stylus in a flat tablet of unbaked clay. In the ancient period, writing was done on stones, clay tablets, dried palm leaves, on Bhoj Patra and parchments. The earliest recording of information was a handwritten account of contemporary events. Such a document or book is known as a manuscript. Written historical records of ancient India provide a fairly good idea about the life and culture of the people in the past. Historians often use primary sources such as literary and documentary evidences to determine the political, economic, social and cultural dimensions of the past. Historical records of ancient India can be broadly classified into court chronicles, religious texts, secular literature, memoirs, travelogues and archival documents. Let us study about these in detail. Court Chronicles A chronicle is an account of events in order of time. These chronicles relate to us the contemporary events of that time. Chronicles are an invaluable source of information about any ruler and his reign. As these were generally composed by the court poets, they gave a first-hand account of the important or local events about their kings. A famous chronicle is the Raja Tarangini by Kalhana, written sometime during the 10th to 11th century, which describes the history of Kashmir in verse. Other important chronicles are Rasmala, Kirti Komadi by Someshwara and Prabandh Chintamani by Mertunga. Religious Texts Ancient religious texts inform us about the lives of the early people and the moral and civil laws which existed in those times. The Vedas, the epics such as the Ramayan and Mahabharat and the Buddhist and Jain literature give tremendous insights 
into the ancient societies. The four Vedas and the other allied Vedic literature written in Sanskrit provide valuable accounts of the lives of early Aryans. Also, we obtain knowledge of Vedic rites and civil and moral laws from these ancient religious texts. The Rig Veda is mainly concerned with prayers, while the other three Vedas, namely the Samved, Atharva Ved and Yajur Ved, consist of prayers, rituals, magic and mythological stories. In the literature of the post-Vedic period, there is a great deal of reference to rituals and sacrifices. The Srota Sutras refer to grand royal coronation ceremonies and public sacrifices for the royalty and wealth. The Griha Sutras deal with domestic rituals such as birth, naming, marriage, funerals and so on. In addition to Vedic texts, Buddhist and Jain literature provide us with tremendous information about the ancient Indian society. The sacred scriptures of the Buddhists were written in Pali. These scriptures are referred to as Tripatakas or the threefold basket. They comprise Vinaypitaka, Sutapataka and Abhidham Pitaka. From these works, we learn about the life of Buddha and some of his royal contemporaries who ruled over Magadha. There are also stories of the previous births of Gautam Buddha. Each story is known as a Jataka and is a folk tale. The Jatakas inform us about the political, economic and social conditions of the people from the 5th to 2nd century BC. Jain literature also gives us information about the contemporary religious, economic, political and social life of the people. Jain literature was mainly written in Prakrit, though it has been written in local languages also. The main Jain literature consists of 12 Upangas, 10 Prakiranas, Sutras and Mula Sutras. Secular literature Secular literature consists of law books called Dharma Sutras and Smritis. They describe the duties for different Varnas and for kings and their officials. They also give us information about the rules for marriage and the laws according to which property was to be held, sold and inherited. They suggest punishments for people guilty of theft, assault, adultery, murder and so on. Arthashastra by Kautilya, which falls under secular literature, is a good reference source for information about the modern administration and the social and economic life. Also, historical literature such as Ashtadhyayi by Panini and Mahabhashya by Patanjali are useful secular literary sources. In Tamil secular literature, Sangam literature written between 500 BC and 500 AD is a major source of information about the social, economic and political life of people living in South India in the early centuries of the Christian era. Memoirs Memoirs are biographies of important individuals authored by a close associate. These memoirs reveal the contemporary conditions of life of the people of the past. Some important memoirs are Harsh Charita by Banabhatta, Vikram Manaka Dev Charita by Bilhana and Ram Charit 
बाय संध्याकर नंदी ट्रैवलॉग्स द ग्रीक चाइनीज एंड अरबिक ट्रैवलर्स हु केम टू इंडिया प्रोवाइडेड आस विद अकाउंट्स ऑफ द सोशियो इकोनॉमिक एंड द पॉलिटिकल कंडीशंस प्रिवेलिंग इन इंडिया ड्यूरिंग अ पर्टिकुलर पीरियड Megasthenes the Greek ambassador in the court of Chandragupta Maurya in the 4th century BC gives a vivid description of the Mauryan society in his book Indica Tariq al-Hind written by Al-Biruni an Arabic scholar and a contemporary of Sultan Mahmud of Ghazni is considered among the best foreign accounts of India The writings of Chinese travelers like Fa Hin, Huan Sang, and I Ching give valuable information about ancient India. While Fa Hin talks of the socio-economic conditions during the Gupta period, Huan Sang gives descriptions of Harshavardhan and other contemporary kings of India. archival documents archives or historical records are chronicles and land grants which record the genealogies of royal families for the period before 6th century the main source of information is from the puranas which mentions long lists of kings some examples of royal archival documents of different states are kalhana's rajatarangini सोमेश्वरास कीर्ति कौमुदी एंड मेरतुंगास प्रबंध चिंतामणि द नेशनल आर्काइव्स ऑफ इंडिया सेट अप इन 1891 इज अ रिपोजिटरी ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ फाइल्स मैन्युस्क्रिप्ट्स मैप्स एंड कलेक्शंस ऑफ लेटर्स लेट अस रिकॉल व्हाट वी हैव लर्न्ड इन ऑर्डर टू स्टडी हिस्ट्री हिस्टोरियंस रिलाई ऑन अ नंबर ऑफ सोर्सेज which provide information to reconstruct the human past written historical records of ancient india provide a fairly good idea about the life and culture of the people in the past historical records of ancient india can be broadly classified into court chronicles religious texts secular literature memoirs and travelogues A chronicle is an account of events in order of time. Chronicles were kept in the courts of many rulers. These chronicles relate to us the contemporary events of that time. Ancient religious texts like the Vedas inform us about the lives of the early people and the moral and civil laws which existed in those times. The sacred scriptures of the Buddhas or the Tripitakas tell us about the life of Buddha and about some of his royal contemporaries who ruled over Magadh. Jain literature also gives us information about the contemporary religious, economic, political and social life of the people. Secular literature consists of law books called dharma sutras and smritis which describe the duties for different varnas and for kings and their officials memoirs or biographies of important individuals reveal the contemporary conditions of life of the people of the past the greek chinese and arabic travelers who came to india provided us with accounts of the socio economic and the political conditions prevailing in india during a particular period archives or historical records are chronicles and land grants which record the genealogies of royal families